Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters. With the help of pressure sensitive plastic, more commonly known as Velostat or Linkstat, we will create a simple pressure sensor for your lights. The more pressure you apply to the plastic, the brighter your lights will become. As you can see here, you can fade them in and out by changing the pressure of your finger rather than turning the lights fully on or off as you do with a switch. To start, I used the template I created in my first video to trace the holes of my card panel onto an A2 panel of white cardstock. The base of this circuit template will look very similar to our template from the Add Multiple Lights Parallel Circuit video that you can find in the link above. I center my craft stencil over each trace dot and trace the outline of the sticker. I make sure that the positive side of the traced outline is closest to the outer edge of my panel for each sticker, which means I rotate the stencil for my final sticker. I label my stencil outlines as a reminder that the positive is on the long edge and the negative is on the point of each sticker. Next, I trace the outline of my circuit as placement reference for my conductive fabric tape. Before I add my tape, I create my battery holder by cutting a piece of white cardstock to 3 quarters of an inch by 2 inches. I score and fold it at the halfway point. I add adhesive to one side of the scored line and adhere the holder to my circuit panel so that the fold is on the right and it opens like a backwards book. Then I continue tracing my circuit, bringing the negative line down inside the battery holder and bringing the positive line down along the outside of the score line and then up and over onto the inside panel of the holder. To keep my battery in place, I add a little adhesive to the left inside half of the battery holder. Then I add my conductive fabric tape, starting with the negative side. I start from the battery holder and then run the tape along the negative point of each traced outline, connecting the three points. Then I repeat the process for the positive side, starting with the lights and then running the tape down along the right side of the battery holder and then up over the top of the battery holder and over to the inside flap. Next I add my lights, making sure the negative point of the sticker rests on the negative line of the tape and the positive edge of the sticker rests on the positive line of the tape. When you place the battery inside the holder and press down, the LED stickers light up. Then I apply scraps of tape over the positive and negative parts of each sticker to reinforce them and make sure they won't shift. At this point we have a parallel circuit. A piece of conductive fabric tape runs under the negative side of the battery and under the negative point of the three LED stickers. Then a second piece of tape touches the positive side of the top of the battery when you close the battery holder and runs under the positive side of each LED sticker. This completes our circuit and the LED stickers light up. But today we're gonna to change things up a bit. I'm using a small piece of pressure sensitive plastic from Chibitronics. It comes in two large sheets, but you really only need a small rectangle of it for this card. When you place the pressure sensitive material between the top of the battery and the conductive fabric tape, it creates a pressure sensor. The plastic is conductive, but how conductive it is changes with pressure so the lights will fade in or out depending on how hard you press. You can see the difference with or without the pressure sensitive plastic. It really adds a fun interactive fade effect. Next I add foam mounting tape around my battery, but do not remove the adhesive backing from the top. This just creates a simple on off switch by preventing the circuit from completing unless you press down which conserves the battery for mailing. You can find a more detailed video on simple on and off switches in the link above. Then I add a little adhesive to the top inside flap of the battery holder, making sure to not get it on the conductive fabric tape. Then I simply press the pressure sensitive material to the adhesive so that it sticks to the inside of the flap. You do want to make sure that the pressure sensitive plastic doesn't touch the negative line of tape, so you may need to cut your piece a little smaller to ensure that it doesn't touch. As I've shown before, I add my firefly panel using magnets because this is a template I'll be using over and over again. If you were adhering this to a card base, you'd adhere the circuit panel to your card base with a layer of foam mounting tape. 
and here to look at the card with my desk light off. You can see how the fireflies fade in and out depending on how hard I press on the pressure sensitive plastic. Finally, here's another look at that circuit. You can see the change in the brightness of the LED stickers as I press harder on the pressure sensor. And here's another example of a pressure sensor from our design team member, Ico. Your LED stickers will light up in rainbow order because red lights require less voltage than white lights. So when she presses lightly, only the red sticker lights up to start. As she applies more pressure, the rest of the stickers light up in rainbow order following the amount of voltage they require. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafter series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!